big man himself say it. Welcome to Epic Deals! There he is. I'm the captain. My name's Joss. I'm going to turn lots of distortion pedals off on the floor so that we get a little bit less background noise and tell you I gotta love those massive tanker sized sofas mm. that appear to be in the warehouses of all the suppliers that we work with. Yeah. And when they look down the back of it, you know, you and I might find a pound down yeah. the back of a sofa. Lucky They'll sofa. find 150, 2016 <laughs> Les Pauls. <laughs> is that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> I thought these were new. No, no, like, no. As in like a brand new thing. Amazing. No, these are just basically brand new, uh, completely boxed, never been opened, found down the back of the sofa, 2016 Les Paul Studios. I love how there is every color of them. Yeah. Um, apart from a couple that we've got, we haven't got here, but I love how they found. For sure. All of these guitars. So there's 150 of these Les Pauls that we've ordered in all eight colors. We've got six of the colors here today. Uh, in fact, we'll have the other two in it shortly. And so you'll see some sweeps of all the different colors in this video. Everything from super traditional black wine red, the burst, sunburst finish. Yeah. Through to some less traditionals, like a, I think this is called Inverness Green, Pelham Blue, mm. Cardinal Red? Yeah, I think so. I think it's Cardinal Something Red. Something like that. And then, and then the two missing ones, I think, are White and Silver Burst. Yeah. Um, tell us about your Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I have a massive, massive affinity for... Man crush. A, a man crush on these guitars. Um, <laughs> I have a massive affinity on these guitars, only for the reason that it was my first ever proper guitar. Yeah. So this guitar here was probably one of the first models that, well, the first proper guitar I ever got uh, from my mom, pa. So I'm incredibly, you know, I have a, a rather strong attachment to these guitars. What did you have before? What, what would you class as a not proper guitar? Oh, I, I, well, <laughs> actually, the week before my birthday, I bought, I uh, had saved up some money and I bought a, um, a Stag Jazzmaster. Fair enough. And I, I, Isn't that a magazine? <laughs> 
could be. I think it's a guitar. Mm. I know what you it's mean. It's either a hunting magazine or something else. <laughs> I um. Hi, I'm Stag Jazzmaster. <laughs> That's my and welcome to <laughs> Hunting 101. Yeah. <laughs> it's That's just the a fella that drives around in a van hunting men. It is. If I was wearing, I'm going to go and get my That Pedal Show camouflage t shirt and go, Hi, I'm Stag Jazzmaster. Welcome to another episode of Shoot That Deer. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway. Do the di- anyway, so. Uh, yeah, I'd actually spent my money on a jazz master, a stag jazz master, yeah. and it was a really, really local guitar shop near me, and um, I spent all my money on it, but I didn't have enough for a case, and my dad was like, I'll buy you the case, I'll buy you the case so we can yeah. get it home, but just a soft bag, and I was like, no, it's cool, it's fine, I'll, you know, I bought this, I felt some sort of sense of achievement of buying yeah. this, this absolute pile, and... Um, I was walking. It wasn't that bad, in fairness, Yeah, it was wasn't it? that bad. It wasn't that bad. Okay. Um, so I was walking. I was taking a stroll with this guitar. I got in the car. Right at my house, um, we have a staircase, like a, you know, staircase that just goes up. We have a staircase. I know, like a staircase. Like a staircase. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know, you know? staircase. You know what staircase yeah. is? Like where bits of wood get higher and it enables but you to go But mine's concrete. Upwards. Oh, okay. So I tripped and fell. Boom. Smashed the big <laughs> chunk out the side of this guitar. Like a chunk. Oh, like no. a chunk. Um, it Relics. almost looked like this guitar. More. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this massive chunk out of this guitar, and um, and then three, four days later for my birthday, mum and dad got me the Les Paul, so I just binned off that stag and... Never looked back. Never looked back. Well, so look, if you're not familiar with the studio, it's kind of... It probably it's, it seems weird to me now because I kind of I, I know when I first started selling guitars it was like a new thing the studio but it's been around for so long now yeah. it feels very much like it's part of the establishment so so the idea really with the studio was uh, back in the day Gibson only really made two versions of the Les Paul you had a Les Paul standard and you had a Les Paul custom yeah you'd get the odd things like weird Les Paul specials and stuff with like. Um, mini humbuckers in them and things like that or Les Paul Deluxes sorry they were called yeah with the mini humbuckers but they, but they kind of the only real affordable Les Pauls that you could get were things like Juniors and yeah, yeah. You know, and they weren't really proper like full no, fat Les Pauls no the whole sort of entry level student sort of thing that Fender were doing yeah and stuff it would have been like a slab body anyway so what Gibson came out with with the studio was this idea of saying well look why don't we just make exactly the same guitar as the Les Paul standard but we'll we'll get rid of the case We'll get rid of the binding. We won't put flame tops on them, and we'll just do them in in like a um, a much more affordable range of colours to kind of yeah. spray, if you like. And they kind of knocked a crack. They they were so like the studio was always like half the price of a standard yeah. for, for really like the pretty much in terms of tone the same kind of thing. Um, and the studio has been in the catalogue really ever since. So so these are American made, full fat. Same thickness, same kind of basic body carve as a standard. Mahogany body, maple top, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard. Um, in addition to all the other spec I've just talked about, they've got the 490R rhythm pickup and the 498T treble pickup. So again, it's a set of humbuckers that you have very regularly seen on American Les Pauls throughout the last, you know, 30 years or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nitro finish. Yeah. So again, it's it's all the the good stuff. There's a lot of scent um, going on in this room right now. I think 2016, if I remember rightly, 2016 is probably the year where the where the most different colours have ever been available in a studio. Yeah. I mean, you know, when were you able to get a studio in Forest? Forest Grump. Forest Grump. Um, <laughs> and seawater nymph and. <laughs> And another thing, and another thing, Ferrari red. No, so certainly in 2018, uh, there's only two colours available in, in the studio. So um, what it's, colours? There's a burst. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Oh, to okay. Be totally Fair enough. Did not know that. Um, so there you go. These are going to be 8.99. So that's the epic deal. I don't. If I'm totally honest with you, I think the price of a studio in 2016 was 9.99. So yeah. it's not. I mean, it's like 100 pounds less than that. But the yeah. real saving is that a 2018 studio, which is pretty much the same thing, is 12.99. This is a 400 less than a than a 2018. Yeah. A third off. Yeah. Um, and they're brand new, complete, well, they say they're brand new. They obviously were made in 2016. They're brand new guitars. But they've never seen the light of day. So they've been, they've been literally sitting in a case 
in a box down the back of an enormous sofa Huge for sofa. the last two years. And uh, there you go. So they all come into Anderson's. They all go through our Gibson quality control process. So every single one is opened up by us, checked over by one of our techs, given a tweak if it needs one. Uh, so they're all immaculato. Mm. Let's go through the tones, Mr. Joss. Okay, I want to show you something. Do it. Check that out. Whoa! <laughs> You're in tap dancing. I was just messing around with the guitar and I was, I was just a little fiddle, you know, and while I was listening, I was like, oh, oh, I thought I'd pulled something up. But I thought I'd pulled something. I thought I pulled something. Like a hamstring. Check it out. Pull that up. I love it. So for you guys, most of you guys will know what, what that basically means when we talk about coil tapping or coil splitting. But underneath these chrome pickup covers, you've got two single coils wound together to create what we commonly refer to as a humbucker. humbucker. And when we pull these... Uh, taps or switches out uh, what will happen is either uh, one of the one of the coils is completely removed so you just get like a strat sound or um, what a tap does is it uh, you've got hundreds and hundreds of wine uh, wines around the, the, the magnets and it just taps off so that you've got less wines effectively yeah uh, the, stop whining. The, the tonal difference between a coil split and a coil tap is marginal they both have the impact of making it sound sort of snappier brighter yeah. Uh, less output. Um, so it's it, kind of the idea is that you've got like a, a Gibson sound and a Fender sound. You know, mm. it's kind of kind of the idea. Not exactly, but that's the idea. So um, that was the neck pickup. Yeah. Middle pickup selection on a Les Paul is always quite cool. Can you, so can you, you can presumably mix and match the tappage there, I can only can assume, so let's just try, so. That's nothing. Yeah. That's the neck pickup. Yeah. Tapped, and then this is the bridge. So and yeah. both tapped. And then both at the same time. So yeah, it and does. And then full gnarly mode. Full gnarly mode. Obviously, I'm on the clean channel and I get on amp that has a lot of headroom. So yeah. And then with the the tap up. Are you much of a, a tone control user? Um, on, on a, a Les Paul, on, if I've got some drive on, then I'll usually dip it down to about eight on a Les Paul. Okay, true. Let's so, for example, wrong, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> for example, <laughs> here's the bridge pickup. Go neck, but with all the tone off for uh, oh, so neck, a bit, a bit of Carlos Santana-y kind of vibe, you know. There's so many, I think, because the Les Paul's been around for, you know, like a million years, um, every different guitar player that gets one and kind of creates a classic tone with the settings yeah. so you, you know so you do get everything from you know uh, early i don't know like cream tones through to santanary tones yeah. through to much heavier tones through to you know who's a who's a sort of a, a good example of a very modern les paul player maybe like the I trivium mean, like, yeah matt heafy from trivium's got a signature uh, les paul so, isn't he, so you know so that, that it really does cover a whole gamut of of tones Probably better known as a rock guitar. Yeah, more I mean recently. it's so it's so covertly known mm. in the rock world, isn't it? Yeah. But as you explained, it covers. I mean, it covers. Yeah. Ev it's it's crossed every genre. Yeah. Uh, so. so there they are. Um, Joss and I will jam out uh, playing something. Um, there's not much else to tell you about these, other than that, of course, 
when they're gone, they're gone. Yes. As with everything, I, I don't really know how long it'll take us to move 150 guitars. I expect they won't be gone in a weekend. It'd be nice if they were. <laughs> uh, but one never knows. Perhaps an early Christmas present. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put links in the description below to where you can find out about this special offer. I've been the captain. My name's Joss. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.